Good day, lovers. Welcome to my channel. My name is Elma Daniel, and today I decided to doll up a little bit. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> okay. I decided to doll up a little bit because I always come in these streets so messy and not really messy, but just not looking as good, you know. So how are you guys doing? How are you? Are you guys good? Okay. Um, I actually want us to talk. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to make a few videos today because um, I just have a few to discuss. And um, one of the things that I that I want to, to discuss is that um, I watched uh, Nozzy Bella's um, videos last week. And one of the video really triggered me to want to talk about something. She was discussing... Um, about her uh, doing specific things for her mom and still the mom feeling she needs more money from her. And then she felt so drained and she was really like all emotional and, 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 and. Um, I don't really want to go deep into details into that story because there is an elder involved and there is a mother. Uh, and also I, I do not want to to disrespect our parents or to say but i want us to to have a discussion as future mothers okay um i want us to have a discussion as future mothers as in to say how many of us right now um probably goes home and um when we live we live in a space where we feel like we are broken or we are emotionally drained rather than um happy you know when you go home to the parents you're like oh, i'm going to visit my parents and then when you come back it's like you are emotionally in a way um uh drained either um but this video in particular it's about um about children uh, i want to, to to pose a question because it is a norm now to say that we we we, we grow up, we take care of our parents in a way, but um, the, the question is, is it really our responsibility, is it really um, our children's responsibilities to take care of us when they grow up? Uh, do we feel, I am not talking about our elders, our elders grew up in a different uh, world or era whereby most of them were unemployed and really if you get a job, you have to take care of your mother if she is unable to take care of herself to a certain degree because you also have your life and you also have to move on okay that's why we find ourselves in situations whereby we won't grow um wealth for our families and we won't um grow forward because most of the people are still taking care of the parents behind i i, I didn't experience that i am I'm lucky because my parents were employed and they took care of themselves. So I did not start off whereby I have to, to take care of home before I take care of myself. I started from a clean note that I'm taking care of myself going forward. And it's so easy. But then we do have people in situations whereby they're like, I cannot take care of, I cannot grow because I'm still building at home. I cannot grow because I am still... Um, taking care of my parents they are unemployed and they're unable to take care of themselves now us as future parents my question is what are we learning from this whole situation what are we learning from this whole situation is in to say that um our children's really is it their responsibilities to come and take care of us and i am talking about our daily expenses whereby we have to call them and say um please send me money for electricity Please send me money. I want to go. Um, we, we don't have food at home. It's for basic needs, <clears throat> literally. That is what I want us to discuss. Do we do we think it's 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 a bargain that we are putting um, uh, on our children? Do we think we can we can actually do better? As, as parents, as future parents, can we do better for our children to say that we we take care of our 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 lives? now and when our children grow they, they they only pick up where we where we where we ended they are going to take care of their own uh lives where they don't have to look back only if they they want to spoil you but not like it's, it's a must you should take care of me um i i, I really i really want us to to think deep about this and to do something about it 
more especially really i don't think it's it's wise for us to be relaxed gone are the days but can we start with creating generational wealth for our future children where our our children are going to, to start somewhere not on the ground but to start somewhere and um when they grow life is a little bit more more lighter for them um you 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 you, you, you are you getting what i what i'm saying though I, i'm not sure whether you are getting what i'm saying but let's hope somebody is getting what i'm saying I, I i actually looked at this situation and i'm like i i think us as future parents we should actually do something about this whereby we we, we are not going to have our children really look back and say that i'm taking care of my parents unless it's in a situation of old age old age is a different um uh situation where you need to be truly taken care of because that's like you're taking care of a baby that is unable to take care of themselves now when you grow old and you're unable to take care of yourself anymore then you need somebody to take care of you you know like on to you no know, to take care of you but if you are still able and you are still able to take care of yourself can we maybe do better as future parents um, so that we take some loads off our children's shoulders and when they <clears throat> go build their houses they want because building a house is a quite lot of work ne? and i cannot just imagine how it is to be having your own home taking care of your own expenses and still taking care of back where you came from i think maybe we must work hard and get away with it because it's draining i'm not saying at this moment the one that can we must not we can where we can but i am saying that can we do better so that our children don't have to to go through this 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 and we must also as parents we must also learn to understand our children better and what breaks them or th just think that they also have emotions because we also do not want to be the type of parents that just go like do this do this do this but we are not being reasonable and we are not being understanding you get what i mean um let's hope uh i really uh made the point in a way because i was like man i think we should do something about this whole situation whereby um we always have to go back and you know taking care of our parents in a way um maybe as we can we break this 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 whole thing and so that our children later on and also we are in a in a world whereby not like back in the days where our parents used to just give birth to a lot of children. Now we can do better. I mean, if you cannot afford, just give birth to the number of children that you are able to afford, you are able to provide for, and then you know that one day they are able to move forward and take care of their, their, their life as well. You know, you know what I mean? Not like back in the days where people used to have 10 children, 9 children, a lot of children, but we are struggling yeah please if if we can just do something about it so that we avoid these situations whereby our children are really emotionally drained because of us as parents because the world is already harsh out there the world is already harsh it's not so kind the world in general is not so kind and the, you wouldn't you the, there are people that you just expect to love from and those are the parents the siblings and family it's like those people you just go like this is the people that I, I just need love from and you know when you are receiving stress from the world and from your people it, it puts you in a situation where you're just like oh i cannot do this you know but yeah um uh give your comments down below on what you think about this whole situation can we uh do you think it's wise that we break this thing of um our parents actually have to or we our children have to take care of us later on when they go build their own houses okay or do you think it's a wise idea that we really work as hard as we can right now and our children will only pick up and move on with their life not having to look back and taking care of us in their in their houses in their family and their children also um actually comment down below let us have a discussion let us learn more it's very important that we learn and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye